Okay, today I'm going to show you how to resize an image that you've taken so that we can print it out later and add it to a tape transfer. So I'm going to do this with commands. Remember on your keyboard there's the command button to the left of the spacebar and then there's the alt or option button left of the command button and then there's shift and all those other ones. We're going to use command N to create a new canvas. If it doesn't pop up like I just did, um, notice I'm on QuickTime Player. I need to click on Adobe so that now I'm in Photoshop. I'm going to press Command N for a new file. I'm going to label this Tape Transfer Tiger because I'm going to use a tiger. If yours is not already set, you need to change the width to 2.25 and then change the height to 3.9. Now mine automatically changed to 03, so 3.903. That's okay. Also make sure inches is selected. If pixels are selected, it's not going to turn out the way you want. So I click OK. Now I have my canvas. This is the exact size that I need for my tape transfer. Next, I want to open up my file. So I'm going to press Command O. That allows me to open up a file. You select where it is. Maybe it's your desktop, documents, downloads. Mine's downloads. I'm selecting Happy Tiger. I just double click it and then there it is. Beautiful Happy Tiger. Took this when I went to the zoo um, this past summer. Alright, so we have our image of our tiger. We have our canvas. Now we need to move our tiger from this location to our canvas. I'm going to just move it over. So first I want to transform my image. In order to transform it, I have to unlock it. So I just click that lock button. Or I can press this button right here to either lock or unlock that layer. So it's unlocked, ready to transform. Next command I'm going to teach you is Command T. That's for transform. I'm going to select the edge. If I select it and don't press the shift button, you see how I can squish the tiger's face or make it narrow? And it looks like it's pixelated, but if I press enter, then it clears it up. I don't want to do that, so I need to undo it. To undo something, the command is command option Z. Um, you don't have to press the option necessarily if you're just going back once, but if you're going back multiple times, you want to press command option Z. Another little side note is up here on the right side. You can press this to look at your history and go back as far as you need um, to undo what you've done. So I'm going to hide that by pressing that double arrow. So I've got my image. I do need to transform it. Command T. Now I'm going to go to the edge of that image. I'm going to hold down the shift button and then when I transform it, it stays um, proportional. Notice to the right there's a W and a H. That is telling me my width and my height. So I want to make it small enough to fit on my canvas so I'm making it two inches wide. I let go of my mouse button then I let go of my shift button. I press enter to finalize the transformation that I just created. Um, my, my button's already selected as the, with the move um, cursor or whatever move tool but if I needed to I press V that's the shortcut to change my cursor to a move tool I'm just going to click and drag over my canvas once it's over there I'm gonna let go it's still a little bit too big I'm not sure why it's still so big but I'm gonna press command T to transform it hold down the shift button again click on that corner drag it until it's about the size that I want. If I click inside this box, I can move my image around. Um, I want to make sure that it covers the entire white space. Hold down the shift button again. Alright, so that looks good. Oh, notice it, it squished just a little bit. I'm going to hit Command-Z undo that. I have to hold down my shift button, open it up, let go of my mouse button, then let go of the shift button. If you don't do it in that order, it will distort the image a little bit. Press enter to finalize it. Looks good to me. So I'm going to print this. The shortcut for printing is command 
P. Looks good to me. I don't really have to change the color settings. Make sure you're printing to the HP Color Laser Jet CP3525. Then click Print. Looks good to me. Press Print again. So that's going to print out. You're going to need two different images for your tape transfers and for your accordion books.